waters down. Oh, look yeah. at all the steam. Hello, hello, it is steamy. Hi, everyone, it's Jennifer. And hi, guys, it's Amy Amy the Keto Queen. How are you? <laughs> so, as you know, if you've been following along, you have a fan. A fan, yes. Yeah. I am. Um, I never use it. You don't? No. Well, I'm a Tennessee. <laughs> um, can you hear me over that fan? Stay low. Let me just turn it low. I'll just turn it down low. Yeah. So okay. we positioned our cameras not realizing we were going to have a lot of steam. Right? <laughs> Do it, does it look like I'm in a movie? <laughs> so anyway, I'm here in Tennessee and I am cooking a warm taco slaw for my friends for their hospitality. Um, Amy had this in... Minnesota. 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 And we, um, she loved it and she wanted to make it for Ricky, but she never has. And I told her, well, heck, I'll cook it tonight. Why not? I would love to. So, anyways, you guys are popping in. Let me know where you're coming from. Say hello. We um, have had the best day today. It was a day that I needed so bad. They can see you on your phone, but not on my phone. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> but it is, uh, it was like a, I don't know, we had a long five mile walk and we lay by the pool and it was just so amazing. It was so much fun. We played with the puppy dogs. We, we did. did. We did some water aerobics. We did. We yeah, had some ketones. Fun. Like we've done a little bit of everything today. We went to the store guys and I got to tell you what happened. So I'm 45 years old. This has never happened before. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Whoever's watching, we'd love to know where you're watching from. So yeah, let, us let us know where know. you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight. And while we're cooking this uh, warm taco slaw that Jennifer's fixing to walk us through, I want to tell you about my trip to Walmart. So in all of my 45 years, I've never done this. Of course, when I was two, I didn't shop by myself. But since I've been married, this is the first time ever this has happened. But we went to Walmart. After our five-mile walk, we were filthy, sweating to death. And we decided to uh, just go into Walmart, get our grocery shopping out of the way. So we go through to Walmart without a list. I did not have a list. I don't do that, first of all. So we went to Walmart without a list. I, I, said, knew, I knew what she needed. Yeah, I said, fine. this is on you. I have no list. So tell us what we need. And we're walking through the store, getting all of our stuff. Got us some snacks for this weekend's trip. Yeah. Got to the register. I pull out my bill phone. I'm like, oh, no. I don't have any money. I'm broke in Walmart with a bag full of groceries and a friend who come to visit all the way from Washington. <laughs> so embarrassed. So, I didn't care. <laughs> So there was this young girl that's working there. I called her over. I was like, okay, you're younger than me, so I know you can help because I'm 45 and I'm embarrassed, but I actually came to Walmart and I got groceries, but I have no money and I need to pay. <laughs> I said, you've awesome. got, you got to be able to show me how to use an app or how to pay with Apple Pay. And she's like, well, we don't take Apple Pay. And I'm like, you're kidding. She said, no. Right. So look, I called my mom because I'm 45, right? I called my mom. I'm like, mom, please help me. I'm at Walmart. <laughs> And I know you've got a Walmart app on your phone, so I need you to log in and send me a picture of your barcode so I can scan it. And the girl's like, no. That doesn't work that way. <laughs> you have to have the phone. I'm like, oh, no, she can send me a picture. She said, no. So she's trying to explain to me that it was not going to work, and I'm on the phone saying, Mom, log in and give me your barcode. <laughs> so embarrassing. So I told this girl, I was like, well, look, I can go home and get money, but I already drink this bottle of water. So I got walked in the store immediately down a bottle of water. So now I'm, I've stolen from Walmart. I told my mama, I said, they're going to take me to jail because I've already, I've already drank this water and I have no money. It was awesome. So this sweet girl actually bought my water for me. Oh, yeah, she bought both of her waters. Yeah, she bought two waters, and I had to run home and get my debit card and go back to Walmart. First time in all of my 45 years I went to the store and shopped with no means of payment. <laughs> it, was, it was an adventure. It was super fun. With a guest. So I was embarrassed. I didn't care. Like, whatever. That means nothing to me. It was, she's human, right? She should have been at work. So, yeah, right? Oh, my mom's here. She just said I should have been at work. So that's my fault. I was, it's payback. <laughs> that's right. It's, it's uh, the universe. So walk us through your um, your warm taco slaw. Okay. Guys, I want to know in comments who in the world has ever gone to the store and took time to shop and did not have a way to pay. I want to know if you've done it before. I've done it. Let me know what store it was. Okay. That's what I want to know. What store was it in the comments? And we're going to check y'all's comments in a few minutes. I did it, but I happened to be behind my neighbor. And my neighbor was like, I got you. It'll be fine. So it was awesome. It worked out well. I didn't have that luxury. Yeah, it didn't work out for me. And I, I was not a good friend because I didn't take my wallet. We were going for a walk. I had no idea we were going to the store. Uh, anyway, it was fun. Um, okay, so can you see this? And 
Kroger. At Kroger, when it was the hometown Kroger, and I told the guy, I said, you know what? You can either call the police and they can come and take me to jail. Can you hear this? Or I can um, take my groceries home and put them in the freezer and bring you some money back. Yeah. Oh! That's well, funny. she actually held my groceries in the she car did. until I got back. Yeah. Well, I took my groceries home and put them up and carried them back. <laughs> okay, so I have two pounds of ground beef that I've already browned because... Nobody wants to watch ground beef brown on live video. So, um, and I added three, I kind of showed you while Amy was talking, three tablespoons of this spice. Now, if you if you follow me, you know that I usually make my own. You're backwards, Amy. Sorry. Amy's backwards, we have to fix this. Hang fix on. Um, this and You're to show me how to do that this, oh yeah, it's so easy. And that. Oh, there we go. We just switched places, hey. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, Amy, this is the spice company that Amy uses. So flavor god. I've never used it before, so I'm excited to see what it tastes like. But she swears by it. So it's pretty good. Now, but Jennifer now she makes her own taco season. That's the special thing about her recipe is it's her seasoning. It is. And it's delicious. So I only hope this tastes as good as it did in Minnesota. Oh, it's gonna be fine. Uh, two cans of these um, diced tomatoes with uh, chili. So two cans of that. And this this serves quite a bit of people. And I moved this pan because I think you can see it better on this burner. Oh, just a little bit more heat, I think. There we go. What's in the other, puppy? Oh. And so I'm just gonna let that heat up a little bit, and then um, I'm gonna add just a small can of sliced black olives, which you know you can get anywhere. There's nothing special about them, and olives are totally optional. If you're not an olive person, don't put them in. Um, but guys, I've already admitted I'm 45. Guess what? The very first time I ever had an olive was with Jennifer cooking yeah. this recipe. And I'm like, guys, I've never had an olive before. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'm going to try. And I did. And I liked it. So then we advanced. We're advancing her. <laughs> she hasn't tried this yet, but I'm making her try a blue cheese. Um, she likes blue cheese. Uh -huh. Stuffed green olive. So I'm really scared. And I told Jennifer I don't know if I'm going to do it live, but if you guys think I should, give me some hearts. <laughs> give me some hearts if you think I should try one live for the very first time at 45 years old. Who is willing to try new things? That's the question. Yeah. Because a lot of you guys are not willing to try new things. I hear it all the time. So if you think I should do it live, give me some hearts and I might do it for you. As long what? as you don't make fun of me. Oh no, Jennifer is getting lots of hearts. <laughs> so we've got my comments turned off somehow. I don't know how to do that. Oh, oh this, you can hit this button again. On this. this one? Yeah. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Okay. There go. Oh, oh, there they crap. go. You, you okay, so you. both of our friends want me to try it live. I guess I'll do that while she shows you the next ingredient. Okay, so tricolor. It doesn't have to be tricolor. It can be angel hair, whatever sort of bagged, um, co um, what is this called, cabbage that you like, that you have in your store or whatever. And by all means, if you want to take the time to slice up your cabbage super small, have at it. I probably, <laughs> I probably would because I love super thin. Oh, cabbage. really? Well, this, you know, this wilts down, right? Yes, yes. So, but convenience wins. I, there never fails that there is a, um, like a core. <laughs> Especially when you're with friends. Like, who wants to take the time to make yeah. all of the individual ingredients when you actually can do it faster and actually have visiting time? And we had way too much fun today. Yes, we did. It was. <laughs> Super, super fun. So I've got actually two bags of this, but I'm gonna cook them kind of separately because I want this um, to wilt down. You can do it. Are you afraid? She's it. really afraid. I love blue cheese, but I've never had an olive. Oh, good girl. You can do it. And those were olives, but those were like black olives, and everybody says those really don't have a flavor, but I know these have flavor. They're very strong, but you'll, you'll love it. Okay, I'm gonna try. Yeah, go. So while she's cooking this slaw, one thing that I love about this dish is all the toppings. So guys, yeah. I've never cooked this for you guys. This is Jennifer's recipe. And Jennifer has a recipe blog too, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. She has tons of stuff on it. Um, but the toppings are what really sets this apart. And you can do any kind of topping you want, but the things that we've done before, or we did in Minnesota, and Jennifer loves is cilantro. So you can put as much or as little cilantro as you want, or you can leave it out. My mom, I don't know for sure if she'll do any, but I love cilantro. Yeah, these are all optional toppings. Whatever you like on your on your Mexican food, you should put on here, because it's amazing. Yeah, so this is guacamole. You can also do slices of avocado, which I know my husband would prefer, but we're gonna do guacamole because we're doing this fast and easy. Mm -hmm. And having visiting time, we've got jalapenos. So sliced jalapenos, pickled jalapenos, any kind of jalapenos you like, you can do that. You also can do sour cream, like I love sour cream. Mm -hmm. 
We've got some fresh cheddar cheese over here grated up. And guys, basically any topping that you love, Mexican, you can do salsa on it, which I got some salsa, I may pull it out of the refrigerator too. But it's so delicious. And you actually can flavor it up the way you like by the toppings. So, all right, we're gonna cook this slaw down. Here we go, I'm gonna try this for the first time. Just I mean, wow. My mom's, my mom's over here telling me, just put it in your mouth. There's more than I've tried. Her mom's the boss. So I wanna know first who has tried all of this before. And do you love them? I'm really curious if you've tried olives before and you love them. Ooh, it says Most. try green olives with gray goose. Oh, Ooh. Joni. Well, Joni. Now you're talking. Yeah, can I throw this in some gray goose? That actually sounds good. <laughs> that actually sounds it's Blue cheese and gray goose. It's yeah. a martini. Okay, I don't like martinis because I don't like the, uh, what's like it called? The vermouth. Yeah, I don't like vermouth. I don't even know how to say it. I don't like that. Okay, here we go. Olive with blue cheese is making my mouth water. Okay, Vicky, so then good. here we go. Oh, Vicky, I'm so sorry, too. I did see your missed call. I will call you back. I'm so sorry. I actually was taking care of the puppy dog, so I will call you back when I get off. Oh, Delilah says yuck. So, would suggest dry martini, Julie, yeah, says that yeah. olive. <laughs> Uh, I do not like olives at all, none. Oh, no, Heidi, don't tell me that. Bonnie loves them. Bonnie loves them. There you go. Uh, Linda loves them. Okay, here we go. Don't so, like them. I have a funny story, okay. so go ahead. Okay, ready? You do it. You okay. do anything. It's going to be great. One, two, three. Don't make that face. Make mm. a happy face. See? It's not bad. I would never steer you wrong. Hmm. You should okay. know this. I have really good taste. It's not bad. It's kind of salty, See? though. It's really? salty. Because all those are salty. It's salty. And olives are salty, and so is blue cheese. It's the olive beautiful. is yeah. salty, but it actually is good. Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so I have friends all the time tell me, Amy, I only eat green beans. I'm not interested in trying any other low-carb vegetable. Guys, if you're not willing to try things, if you're not willing to try things, you're never going to experience the beauty of food. Or life. Oh, my gosh. You've got to be open to trying new things. So that was old. No, no. Michelle says she only eats all of stuff with pimento. Michelle, I don't know if you saw, I have a live video from either last Christmas or the Christmas before, and it's the most hysterical thing in the world because we dared my daughter to eat a jalapeno that had, or not a jalapeno, an olive that had a pimento, and she just could not do it. She kept trying to, uh, she kept trying, she, she tried. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say because we're cooking. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> but it was hysterical. That was good. Yeah, see? So and, tell us your funny stories if you have a funny okay, story. Okay, well, so I, I, as I mean, people who know my, my keto story, so I started keto in 2017, and I did a lot of research because I... She's an RN. Yeah, I have to have to know what I'm getting my hand my, my, myself into, right? So I remember reading, because I, I love fruit, and I remember reading, I'm like, how am I going to live without fruit? And so then I'm researching keto fruit. And they're like lemons, limes, olives. I'm like, an olive is not a fruit. I mean, technically it is a fruit. But I'm like, that I would not consider, yeah. I would not consider olives a fruit. And if olives are the fruit that I'm gonna eat for the rest of my life, I am not gonna be one bit happy about this. This is not gonna last. <laughs> but here I am six years later and um, I'm eating olives. Out of olives and they make wine out of fruit. So right? that makes sense. See, it makes total sense. I didn't know olives were a fruit. I did not know that. Yeah, they grow on trees, they have a seed. We make oil out of I learn something all the time from Jennifer's. <laughs> so, well, what else do you want to know? <laughs> yeah, well, we were we really had a lot of good conversations. I know. I wonder. Look how pretty this looks, guys. I made a. Um, I've kind of made a mess of your kitchen. Yeah. Do you want to do? I, I think we still have a lot of cabbage. Do you want to? I don't think it's going to fit in your pan. Okay, that's fine. So. Do a separate pan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yep. do a separate pan. So. I, because I want, I want to use all of this cabbage, which is this bag. Usually I use two 10 ounce bags and this, oh, this is two 16 ounce bags. Actually, these are bigger than the bags that I buy at my grocery store. So we don't have to, um. It's up to you. No, it's up to you. I'm good. Either way, I don't care. Will you eat this if it's not cooked? If we, if we don't use it in here? Mom will we'll the pan more. Anyway, <laughs> figuring stuff out. So, um. Winging it. Yeah, I think let's just be done because this looks like a good. It looks, it looks like a good mixture of the beef to Delicious. to um, good ratio to yeah you know cabbage, cabbage to ratio. Beef ratio yeah it looks really good all right so this is this is what it looks like can you see that it probably the colors probably really aren't coming out very well um, on over the over the camera but this is. 
delicious, and it really, I mean, if we weren't chatting so much, it would have taken less time, but we have a lot to say. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun. <laughs> so I always get told I talk too much. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that too. People are like, just shut up and cook. Yeah. Like, you don't have to follow me. All the time. All the time I get that. <laughs> you, you talk too much. Quit. Just less talking, more cooking. Like, well, that would be so boring. <laughs> like, who wants to watch somebody cook and not talk? I don't know. That's just me. But anyway, so we are going to serve this up in some bowls. I like to serve it in bowls. I am going to put, um, we're going to put our toppings on it. We'll probably take pictures of it because we both like really pretty food. And then we're going to eat it. And it's going to be fantastic. And this is keto. It is low carb. It is amazing and I love meals like this because it's one pan it's super simple there's not a lot of fancy you know not available ingredients and um, it, it tastes fantastic and I would eat this whether or not I was keto or yeah, not or exactly. low carb or whatever it's got exactly it's, it checks all the boxes for me so um, I'm going yeah. to really quickly just run through and see if you guys have any important questions for us so if you do just throw them in the comments uh, I'm fixing to call my husband and tell him to get his tail home. He's across. I know he's at my dad's house over there playing because they're boys and they love to play. They're like best friends. So they're over there chatting. I heard them in the front yard. So I'm going to look and see if you guys have any questions for us. Where's Ricky? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> he is next door, Kathy. He will be here as shortly. Yes. Uh, he loves when I have company over because he loves to keep us cracking up. But last night we didn't get. We got in the hot tub last night and I'm trying to think yeah. of what time it was. Ricky was passed out in the bed. It was late. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. When your dad asked me, he said, "Is something going on? Is something wrong in Ivy's house?" <laughs> it's just because I was home. And I said, "Why you say that?" And she said, but, but he said, "Well, they're out on the deck, and it's really late for them." <laughs> oh, last night. Oh, <laughs> so my dad thought I kicked Ricky out or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe driving him on. Oh, to funny. I'll I say, see. Um, none of your business. Quit looking at it across the street. That's funny. All right, we got a funny food story. Only three miles away, so I left the full buggy and came back. Oh, oh that's my funny. gosh, it's so funny. Must be a oh, Walmart thing. I did that recently and had to drive uh, one and a half miles. At least you was close, one and a half miles. So I told the girl, I was like, I only live 10 minutes away. Just let me go get it real fast. Um, so glad everything isn't backwards. Well, thank you, Barbie, and I'm so glad I'll that Jennifer's so. teaching. Show me how to do it so that. she's got to show me how to do it so I can do that for you guys it feels weird though because like I don't know I just feel lopsided yeah <laughs> it takes some getting used to for sure um, but people like it then they can read your cans and your packages and it makes so much more sense to them went to the post office too many several boxes to return would not let me leave to get my money lady behind paid neighbor down the road guess who's home uh, Ricky's home all right let's see I'm gonna I'm gonna it's like, too it's excited. Just like, it's just like my house. Too excited. Too excited. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let me look over here and see if there's any questions right. for us. Guys, y'all are so awesome. Thank you for following oh, us. Oh, somebody said that that forgot the wallet trick. Oh, uh, yeah. The old office. Yeah, yeah, David. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I really did. She was hoping I would buy. <laughs> yeah. I just looked at Jennifer. I was like, uh-oh. Like, uh-oh. I have no money. How am I going to pay for this? I had an empty wallet. There was nothing in it. Yeah. I'm on Lindy Kennard's team, but I watch all of the wonderful keto people. Oh, well, awesome, awesome. Julie. Hey, are you going to ha uh, Hockey Better? Are you going, going to more? Are you going to Kentucky tomorrow? Is Lindy going to more? Probably, surely. Yeah. I have done that at Shaw's. Oh, it's funny. a grocery store my husband works for. Luckily, he knew us well. <laughs> oh, he, somebody wants to see your puppy. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Just one second. Let me grab them. The olives with jalapenos. Yes, I like those. They have the garlic and the jalapeno. They're good. They're oh, really, really okay. Good. You like jalapenos. Food processor works great for cabbage, but she also oh, yeah, loves the yeah, bag. It does. My aunt loves to uh, process hers. No olives. No olives. No olives. Then we love olives. We love olives. There's a good <laughs> mix. Y'all are awesome. <laughs> I see Linda on here. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Betty. There's Stephanie says, I love seeing my two favorite keto ladies. Aww. Oh, Hanging so out together, having fun, cooking some yummy food. That's so yes. sweet, Stephanie. Thank you. I will post the recipe. Oops, it's on my blog, but I will post it in here. Hamburger. Two, oh, ham, oh, yeah. I'll get it for you, you guys. You don't need to worry yeah. about it. I'll, pat, I'll, put, I'll post the um, recipe and the... Um, uh, what taco seasoning that I use. What are you making, um, Angie? We just made a warm taco slaw. So good. It looks delicious. It smells delicious. It's warm. My husband's outside, so I'm fixing to tell him to run in so we can fix our plates. We will post the recipe and fix uh, the finished pictures for you guys. Here comes the puppies real fast if y'all want to see, but look at the food. <laughs> I know. 
cats. The, the food looks good, but the puppies are amazing. So there you go. So yeah, I'll make sure that you guys get all that. All right, puppy, my, puppy my, time. my pups are outside except this one. So this is Bit Bit. This is Little Bit, Little Bit Bit, Walter, Boo Boo, Booger Bear. He's got all kinds of names. He's the sweetest little baby. He'll be 13 this year. He's gonna be 13, and he is the sweetest little snuggle buggy ever. And then my other two pups are outside. So they wanted to be outside with their daddy. So you guys will have to see them later. All right, guys. Love you. We'll see you Bye, later. Everyone. Bye. Thank you so much.